Hello and welcome to another update video about Fetch AI, F-E-T. Um, yesterday we've seen a slight reaction to the 50% retracement there at $1.06, which was the basically the last, you could say the last support level for a fourth wave in a possible upside impulse. It briefly broke, um, not a sustained break, so we can keep the upside wave count alive in white. Mm, the problem is, however, that it was slightly deeper than ideal. And yes, we've seen upside momentum, so we said we give it a chance. We'll see if it can get to 153 at least. Upside momentum is already fading, so the price really needs to break above this $1.23 level, which is the intraday high, to indicate that the, uh, the, the bulls are motivated to form a fifth wave rally. That's still what I'm watching for. Um, I have limited trust in this structure because the wave 4 is slightly deeper than ideal. But still, we can watch for it. If we get five waves up, at least we will have the next setup because after a five wave move up, we get clear parameters and we can then say this was maybe a wave one. We'll add the support for the wave two to the chart. But for now, I can tell you this is not high confidence. The entire altcoin sector is a mess at the moment. It's definitely not in a good state. So five wave movements are a rarity. Um, it could still happen. But then really there's one clear condition, which is that yesterday's swing low must hold. And it is at $1, well, it's actually just below $1.06 there, pretty much $1.05 region. Um, that needs to hold any break below that level. And I would not call that a wave four anymore. I would then assume we have topped in a three wave structure and it will become much more likely that we will test the 52 cent level, which would mean one more low. The reason is that a three wave rally is typically leading to another low. We had three waves here, three waves here, three waves here, three waves here, and they typically lead to another low. It just means that the correction is set to extend. The correction is still intact. You know, the larger correction that started in March, W, X, Y structure, and then in the Y wave, an A, B, C pattern. And the C wave might have bottomed here. I mean, we can always get another low. The problem is with one more low, it starts to look like a five wave move down. And if we then see a break below 52 cents, which is the last support really that I have available for this larger fourth wave on the larger time frame. By the way, in yesterday's video, I looked really at the larger time frame as well. No need to do that today, but any break below 52 cents would indicate not invalidation for the larger bullish um, sequence on the chart, but it would make it much less likely and therefore a more bearish interpretation would then be favored. So really important that we in the very short term hold $1.5. I don't think it's going to do that necessarily. I still have that potential on the chart, however, uh, just in case, you know, so we at least know when the market has formed the five wave move up. There are no clear probabilities in the bullish sense, as long as we don't have five waves up. And then, okay, below that level, um, it needs to hold the 52 cent level. Well, that's pretty much it. And a three-way rally will typically lead to another low. At least it would not give us clear probabilities. Okay, um, a three-way move can always turn into a larger three-way move, but they are typically not great for trading unless you have a different edge. So from an elite wave point of view, not great. We see at the moment that in all of these um, altcoin or all of these altcoins, they're working on some kind of a wave four probably. And these are very difficult structures to navigate. Um, so it would be good if a low was in because the 50% FIP level is an ideal target for a fourth wave, especially in a diagonal, but can't promise it, you know. And uh, as long as we only have three waves up, it means we have to be on the side of, on the side of caution. You know? So what we need to see now in the very short term, where well, it would be good if the price could break above that intraday high here at $1.24. And that could um, yeah, spark a bit of a rally there in this wave five. I'd say AVEX, uh, not AVEX, Fetch, one of the stronger ones here. If I compare that with other coins, one of the few that actually has a chance for five waves up still. So it's definitely worth watching. I keep you updated. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.